Hello mga kanomero, I'm your teacher for today. My name is Sixto Paga and welcome to my vlog. May problema ba kayo sa math? Dito, dito rin, at dito. Tara, samahan nyo ako and pag-aralan natin to. Let's start! Okay, so for today's uh, review, I'm going to discuss about Math 6. So I have my student for today. So my daughter, Chloe. So we are going to have a, this uh, review for Math. Then if you can join us, so pwede kayong sumama sa amin, sa review namin. Samahan nyo kami. Okay, so we are now in question number Okay, question number one Okay So ito yung question number one uh, Can you read it, Chloe? Nina bought, bought eight pieces of cartolina She used two and one And Oh. Two and one third. Two and one third pieces for one project, and three and three for for a seven project. How many pieces of cartolina did Nina use? Okay, so I will give you three minutes to do the activity to answer question number one. Okay, are you done? Yes. So, may I see your solution? Okay, can you explain your solution, Chloe? I added both of the fractions. Okay. Then, I cross... I, I added the whole numbers, then I cross multiplied. So, 2 plus 3 is how many? 5. And then, what happened to the fraction? Then, I cross multiplied both of them. So, cross multiply how? Uh, 1 times 4 and 3 times 3. So, 1 times 4 is how many? 4. Then, 3 times 3? 9. So, 4 plus 9? 4 plus 9 is 13. So, 13. What happened to the denominator? What is the denominator? 12. Okay. So, then, what is your final answer? 6 and 1 over 12. Okay. So, the answer is 6. And one over two. So how many pieces of cartolina did Nina use? So your answer is uh, six and one over two. One over two. Okay. So let's proceed to question number. Okay, number two. Okay. So we have here is the question. How many pieces of cartolina remained with Nina? So, you start now. So, the question number two is the uh, continuation of from question number one. Okay, are you done? Finish? Okay, so explain your work, Louis. I subtracted 8 minus mi 8 minus 6 and 1 twelfth, but you have to mi minus it by 1. Which is the number? 8. Okay, then it became now how many? 7. 7 and? 12 over 2. Okay, so 7... And 12 over 12 is also the same as 8, right? Then minus 6 and 1 over 12. So how did you find the answer? I 
minus 2 by 6 and 1 over 12, so it became 1 and 11 over 12. Okay, so 1, the, your final answer is? 1 and 11 over 12. Okay, so thank you, very good. So let's proceed to uh, question number, okay, question number 3. So here is the question. Okay, can you read it, Chloe, the question? A HE teacher bought 121 meters of cloth for her pupils. If each pupil was given 2 and 3 over 4 meters of cloth, and the cloth was just enough for all of them, how many pupils are there? Okay, so start now. Show your solution. So the given are 121 meters, then each uh, pupil was given 2 and 3 fourth meters. So the question now, how many pupils are there? Okay, are you done? May I see? So what did you do? Explain it, go. I divided 121 divided by I divided 121 by 2 and, and 3 over 4 Okay, then what then, happened? Then the answer of the answer of the info the What did you do to the mixed number 2 and 3 parts? You change it to? Improper fraction. Okay. Improper fraction. So what is the improper fraction of 2 and 3 fourths? It's equals to? 11 over 4. 11 over 4. Then what is the next solution now? Then I, then I multiplied 121 by 4 over 11. So 4 over 11 is the reciprocal of 11 over? 4. So... What is your final answer? So, it's 484 divided by 11 equals 44. Okay. Next question number 4. Okay, read. Find the value of 15 minus 6 plus ne negative. negative 3 minus negative 5. Okay, go. So you can apply the, the uh, PEMDAS Find the value of 15 minus 6 plus negative 3 minus negative 5 so this is about uh, simplifying integers. Okay, so do you have now the answer, Chloe? Yes. So what is your answer? 11. So explain your solution, go. I first um, simplified both of the, the numbers in the parentheses. Okay, so positive times negative 3 is how many? Negative or negative 3. Minus. Okay, negative 3 or minus 3, correct. How about negative times negative 5? What is positive your answer? Five. Positive 5. Correct. Then, so simplifying 9 minus 3 plus 5. So it became now 6 plus 5. Then your final answer is? 11. Okay. Correct. So let's proceed to the next question. So we are now in question number number 5. Okay. So here's the question. So kindly read it, Chloe. 
The sides of a triangle are 21.5 cm, 22.25 cm, and 18.6 cm. Five is per meter. Okay, so how many sides are there in a triangle? Three. Three. Okay, three sides. So show your solution. So find its uh, perimeter. So in solving this um, uh, question, you should know the uh, formula of the perimeter. So we have P equals S plus S plus S. Because there are three sides. Then since the given are decimals, you should arrange the decimal point or you should uh, align it okay, in vertical form so that when you add that, you will get the correct answer. Okay, so let us see your solution, Chloe. Okay, so can you explain it? I added all of them. Then after that, I plotted the decimal point. Okay, so very good alignment. Okay, so what is your answer, by the way? Sixty-four point thirty-five. Okay, very good. Okay, so last question for today's uh, review. So we have now. Okay, here's the question. If n is 250 equals 18 is to 30 find n so meaning you are going to find the value of n okay so this is about ratio and proportion Okay, so explain your work, Chloe. I turned both of the ratios into fraction form. Okay, into fraction form. So we have n over 50 equals 18 over how many? 30, right? Then what happened? I divided 900 by 30. Then I cancelled one of the zeros. Okay, where did you get 30 n? I multiplied n and 30. Okay, n times 30 equals 30. n. Okay, 30 n, correct. And then? Then 18 times 50 is 900. 900, so you cancel 30, so we have n. Then how about uh, 900 divided by 30 is how many? 900 divided by 30, or 9 divided by 3 is 3, okay. then 0. Okay, so what is your answer now? What is the value of n? 30. Okay, so 30. Very good. Okay, so... So that's the end of our review, guys. So I hope you learn also. Okay, so see you next meeting. Bye-bye. Have a nice day to everyone.